the full LHR unlock is finally here but it's not very stable yet. So in this video, I'm gonna show you four things you can do to greatly improve stability when mining with this new 100% LHR unlock. So stick around. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto, or your personal information, all right? So please be careful, use your common sense, and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And while I'm sure that the mining software developers are working restlessly to try and fix this to make the 100% LHR unlock a lot more stable for us, in the meantime, there are actually quite a few things we can do. So in this video, like I said, I'm gonna show you four different things that you can do, both in Windows and in Hive OS. Now, I know I said I was gonna post the results of the test I was gonna do to see if the LHR unlock submits as many shares as a you know non-LHR GPU, but I wasn't able to run that test for 24 hours because you know the miner isn't stable and it kept crashing. So that will have to wait until I get this up and more stable, uh, which we're gonna do now with these four steps. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing is make sure you're actually using the specified driver version of the NVIDIA driver. So that is, if we look here on the NB Miner GitHub, uh, it's 512.15 for Windows or 510.60 for Linux. So this is how you download those specific versions, whether you're in Windows or HiveOS. So in Windows, all you have to do is come to the official NVIDIA download page here, and then you have to scroll down and you have to click on beta and older drivers here. Then you need to fill this in like so, hit search, and there you should be able to find the GeForce Game Ready driver 512.15. Then just download and install that. And as you install it, make sure you hit the little check mark that says uninstall any previously installed drivers. But then you should be good to go. Now, if that doesn't work, what you could do is a DDU. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. Basically what it is, is a more powerful uninstall of the display drivers you already have installed. Uh, if you need to know how to do that, just Google or search on YouTube for like how to DDU. Um, but that should get you going to uninstall your previous driver if it doesn't work to do it the way I showed you here. But let's move on over to HiveOS. So in HiveOS, the easiest way to do it is just to hit the run command button up here and then just type in nvidia-driver-update, then space and it's 510. 60.02 I believe yep and then hit run now this might take a good while to install because so many other people are trying to install that specific version of the driver right now but just keep trying and eventually it will work oh by the way if you're struggling to update your driver in Hive OS what you can do is either open your Hive shell and do it from there or an easier way to get into Hive shell is just click on your IP address up here type in user then type one and enter. And here you should be able to now type in NVIDIA driver update and watch the full process as it's trying to update. And if it crashes halfway through, just type in the command again and it should be able to pick up where it left off rather than have to start over again. Now, the second thing you can do to improve stability is to download the newest version of NVMiner. Yes, there's actually an even newer version. It's version 41.1, and it supposedly has some stability fixes in it. Now, unfortunately, this release is a test release, and it's for Linux only, so it only works on Hive OS. But I'm sure if you're just patient for a day or two, it will be out for Windows as well. But so how to get it in Hive OS? is basically the same way we installed NB Miner in my previous video with that run command, except you need to change uh, the address to a new address. So what I'll do is I'll post this full command in the pinned comment of this video. And then all you have to do is just come in here to run command, paste that in. You can see I already did it here, but all you have to do is copy that from the pinned comment, paste it here and hit run. And again, it might take a couple of tries, but it should work eventually. Now the third stability improvement is a big one that has made a big difference for a lot of people and that is to not run both LHR 
and any other kind of GPUs within the same instance of NB miner. So if you have a mixed rig, make sure you only run your LHR GPUs within NB miner and the other GPUs in a different miner. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first in Windows and then in HiveOS. So to do it in Windows, what I first recommend you do is just run the miner with all of your GPUs and then take note of what GPUs are your LHR GPUs, so what number they are in the list as they are listed within NB Miner. Then come into your NB Miner folder, right click on your batch file that you're running and hit edit. And then all you have to do here is type the command dash dash devices and then type out the device numbers for the ones that are LHR GPUs. So if that's your first and second GPU, then all you do is type 0 and 1. If it's your first, second and fourth GPU, you have to type in 0, 1 and 3, for example. So I see, I think you understand how that works, right? So just do that and hit save, run the batch file. And that, and that means NB Miner will mine only on those GPUs. Then what you have to do is, of course, run a different miner for your other GPUs, your non-LHR GPUs. So, for example, T-Rex. And again, you just come in and you do the exact same thing. You just edit your batch file, type in dash dash devices, and then the numbers that aren't LHR. So maybe that was 3 and 5, for example. Now, one little thing to note here is that you might need to specify a different worker name in your second worker here. Otherwise, on your pool, it's gonna look a bit funky because you have two workers, technically, with the same name. And there you go. Then you just run that batch file alongside your NB miner batch file, and you should be mining with different miners on your LHR GPUs versus your non-LHR GPUs. Do the same thing in HiveOS. Basically, you just need to come into your flight sheets, make a new flight sheet, then set it up with NB miner, then hit set up miner config, and here in the extra config arguments, you can just add this devices argument. So here you can see automatically it shows us 0, 1, 3 and 4 for your you know, GPU numbers. And you can see your GPU numbers here in the overview tab for your workers. So for mine, you can see it's GPU 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 that are my LHR GPUs. I would just need to come in here and type out those numbers in here. Hit apply changes. And then what I have to do is for my non-LHR GPUs, add a different miner here. So I'll set that up like so. And then I just have to select a different miner. So for example, T-Rex miner. And I have to go into the setup miner config here again. And I need to do the exact same thing here, except I had to select the other GPU numbers in this one. Now, one little thing to note here is that you might need to specify a different worker name in your second worker here otherwise on your pool it's gonna look a bit funky because you have two workers technically with the same name so you can just add, add a different worker name here for example both non lhr cards hit apply changes create flight sheet and you're good to go all right so our fourth way to improve stability is unfortunately just for hive os but it's to use the built-in HiveOS hash rate watchdog. So basically what this does is if your hash rate dips below a certain level that you set, uh, what it will do is first it will try to restart the miner. And then if it still doesn't get back up to the hash rate value that you want it to be, it will then reboot the whole mining rig. So what you need to do is just click the little hash rate watchdog icon up here. It's the robot dog looking thing. And then turn it on by hitting the little switch here. Then what you need to do is you need to take note of how high your hash rate is when you're mining with the full LHR unlock for all your LHR GPUs in that rig. So for example, if you have a rig of one LHR 3070, basically you should expect to get around 60 mega hash on that GPU. So what you need to do is come down here and then find your NB miner here, which you should be running with just your LHR GPUs. Then switch it over to mega hash. And then, you know, type in a value a little bit lower than the max hash rate you're expecting. So if you have one 3070 that you're expecting around 60 mega hash for, maybe type in 50 mega hash and that should be it. So then what will happen is if it dips below 50 mega hash and it stays there for longer than three minutes, the miner will restart. And then if it still stays, you know, below 50 mega hash after 10 minutes, 
the hash rate watchdog will reboot your whole rig and then hopefully it will get back up to 60 mega hash and then you and then you just have to hit apply and you're good to go now if you found this video helpful then please give it one of these and if you really liked it you cannot join the channel to help support what i do here it really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me so thank you but what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate that but yeah go click on that next video and i'll see you there goodbye goodbye bye bye